Hi children! We're continuing with our Bible character series and this week we're looking at Saul changed to Paul. But who was Saul or even Paul? Well, Saul was from Tarsus, hence the name Saul of Tarsus. He was a Jewish leader. He was very clever, but he didn't like Jesus and his followers. In fact, Saul liked hunting Jesus' followers and putting them in prison. One day, on the road to Damascus, which is a town in a modern day Syria, which is just north of Israel, where Jesus and his followers were from, Saul was on his way to Damascus to arrest Jesus' followers and put them in prison. And he was changed in a flash. He changed his name to Paul and he stopped hunting the followers of Jesus and became one. He started to preach to the Jewish people and when they didn't want to listen, he started preaching to the Gentiles, which is non-Jewish people. He's one of the most famous men in the Bible, after Jesus, of course. And I thought it'd be really good if we took a look at how he changed. Let's take a look. Christians were beginning to be widely persecuted because of their faith in the one true God. There was a Jew named Saul who would look for and imprison Christians. This evil man persecuted them. One day, Saul asked permission from the high priest to go to Damascus with his gang to imprison Christians there. Sadly, the high priest gave permission to Saul to execute his wicked schemes. As Saul was heading to Damascus, a bright light appeared to him and his company. It was Jesus! Because of the glory of God in this bright light, Saul became blind. Saul asked who was in the bright light, and Jesus answered, I am God whom you are persecuting. Jesus also said that he would send a man named Ananias, a Christian in Damascus, to lay hands on Saul and he would heal him. God informed Ananias that he must visit Saul and lay his hands on him. Saul was at a certain house at this time, just laying there by Straight Avenue. At first, Ananias was scared because he was familiar with Saul and his evil actions. But soon he obeyed God and went to Saul. And just like God promised, he healed Saul and something like scales fell from his eyes. Then he could see. After having a meal with Ananias, Saul was baptized. He believed in God. Saul, soon called Paul, began preaching God's good news to the Jews. But many got scared or refused to listen. Paul went to the Gentiles, many of which accepted God's gift of salvation. Saul even wrote letters to churches, encouraging them to stand strong for Jesus and to do what is right. Even Saul, the first missionary, was persecuted and executed by a Roman king. However, his work was not in vain, and he died as a faithful martyr for Christ. He is now in heaven. And that is the true story of Paul. So let's see who was paying attention to the video, shall we? On the way to Damascus, what happened to Saul? Yes, he saw a bright light and heard a voice saying, why are you persecuting me? And who was it in that bright light? Yes, it was Jesus, wasn't it? And Jesus told Saul to go into Damascus and wait for Ananias. But the people who were with him had to lead him into Damascus. Why did they have to do that, children? Yes, because Saul was blind, wasn't he? And he waited for about three days for Ananias to come. And what did Ananias do when he got there? 
Yes, you lay hands on Saul. Maybe you put them over his eyes. And things like fish scales fell from them. And Saul could see the truth that is Jesus for the first time. And he changed his name to Paul. He was baptised. He became a preacher. And when the Jewish people didn't want to listen to him or didn't trust him, because he'd been a, a Christian hunter, he went and he spoke to the Gentiles, the non-Jewish people. What an amazing change from a hunter of Christians to actually be a Christian and to help people to become Christians. What a massive change, children. And uh, that event really shows us that Jesus came for everyone and nobody is too far gone or too far away from Jesus for him to call them to him. Jesus wants us to be his friend. He wants to love us and uh, help us on the right path. And uh, that certainly happened to Saul, who became Paul, didn't it? So your challenge this week is to ask Jesus to show you the areas in your life that you need to change. And you're not on your own with that. Jesus will help you. And it might not be big changes, it might just be little changes. So, shall we get into our prayer positions and ask Jesus to help us with that? Right, let's get ready. Put your hands together. Bow your heads, do whatever you do, get into your prayer positions. Dear Jesus, thank you that you love us. Thank you that you change us from the inside out. Please show us the areas in our lives that need changing. Help us to let you have your way and change our hearts as you change souls. Help us to be open to the changes you want to make in our lives for good. Let's roll our arms. Amen. So we have watched our video, we've done our discussion, we've said our prayer. What time is it now children? Yes, it's crafting time. Let's take a look. So how do we make some kaleidoscope changed glasses like these ones? Well, you will need some card, some sticky back plastic, some different colored cellophane, a pencil, some scissors, watch out they're sharp, a ruler and a sticky sticky glue stick. So how do we make it all? Well you've got two choices, you can either print off a glasses template from the church website, from our uh, shooting stars page, or you can draw your own on a piece of card. So what I'm going to do is with my ruler, I'm going to draw my glasses up near the top. So I'm going to draw a straight line there and a straight line there. And I'm going to draw a bit of a, there we go. And, there. and then I am going to a little indent there for the nose and then if I bring down here like this that's it I need a bit for my nose here don't I and go down here like this that's it and do the same here you might be able to do it a little bit better than me I'm I'm doing it quickly and then do a a little sort of lens bit here like that there we go. 
I'm doing it very, very quickly. You can take your time, maybe use your ruler. And then with your scissors, you're going to cut that out and you will end up something like this. Make sure you draw yourself some legs. Here we go. There we go. There's my legs to go on the side of my glasses. But then what you're going to do is you're going to take a piece of sticky back plastic like this and then with your glasses once you've cut them out draw around the frame so that you can so just round like this trying to keep it in place draw around the outside rather than the inside because you need the sticky back plastic to stick onto the card so draw that very quickly obviously you can do it much neater and then if you just join them up like that so you've got almost looks like a lens like that that you would pop into your glasses and then we're going to cut those out and you end up with two lenses like this now what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel back my sticky back plastic here so fold it over slightly and then you should be able to peel it off quite easily there we go and then you can stick it onto your glasses like so turn it over so it doesn't stick to the table and then do the same with this one. Fold it back. Ah, there you go. That one's much easier. And then make sure you stick it on the same side. So maybe keep it that way. Stick them both on and then turn it over. And then with your different colour pieces of cellophane, you want to put different colours on so that when you look out of your glasses, you can see lots of different colours. Now, if you haven't got different colours cellophane, cut up roses wrappers work really, really well. And you can put whatever colour you want on these. Try and make sure there's no gaps, but try not to overlap too much. Otherwise, the colours will, uh, will mix too much. If you haven't got cellophane or roses wrappers then i'm just going to cut this a bit smaller so you can cut it up smaller and do lots of small squares if you like let's do that um if you haven't got cellophane you could use some tissue paper but you won't be able to see as clearly through it as you will this cellophane so make sure all your make sure it's all Let's use this bit here. All your uh, gaps are covered up and do the same on this side. So I'm going to put some green there. And then, so then if you need to, you can cut off any excess like this. There you go. There we go. And then what you need to do is just fold a little bit of your leg over just about half a centimetre or a centimetre if you want on both sides like that and then with your sticky sticky glue stick glue the end like that and stick it one leg there and one leg there there we go and then you can pop it on your face and when you look through it you can see in lots of different colours. There you go. And the whole world has changed colour. And you can see a big change in the world around you. Enjoy your glasses. Sadly, that's all we've got time for this week. And that's our last video for a little while. But do not worry, there are over 60 videos on our YouTube channel for you to have another look at. Maybe try some of those crafts that you haven't already done.
we will hopefully see you in church for some socials over the summer and then come September we're hoping that myself and the Sunday Stars team will be back for kids groups yay so until then take care I hope I see you face to face very soon so children take care goodbye